kwenye Instagram. Kuna siku nilikuwa kwenye hizi feeds unakuta watu wame likes, kwa hiyo unakuta vitu kule. Sasa nikakuta kuna kuna maelezo yalikuwa yanatoa pale kwenye kuhusu na motivation. Yakanigusa sana. Nikaanza nikaingia peji yake kujua wasi kwa nini. Nikakuta vitu vingi. Sasa nikawa nimevie nimevinoti. Ila nikanoti kitabu kitabu chake cha timiza malengo yako. Nikaenda bookshop nikakinunua nikaanza kusoma. Nimekisoma kile kitabu. <coughs> By then nilikuwa nimeajiriwa. Nilikuwa nafanya kazi kwa kitabu lakini ilikuwa nimefanya kazi kwa miaka zaidi ya tisa na sikuwa nimeona sikuwa nimeona sikuwa nimepata kile nilichokuwa nimekitarajia kwa hiyo ilikuwa katika hali fulani ya kufanya transition lakini sikujua how tu sasa nataka nitoke kazi lakini kwa sikuna toka hapo kwa hiyo kitabu nilipokisoma kikanigusa sana kwa mara ya kwanza nilikuwa nimeona kitabu cha mbinu 60 kimeandikwa mbinu nyingi sana za maisha sana sana hivyo kinunua hivyo mwanzo kusoma nikajenga nyumba kubwa sana baada ya kumaliza kitabu nikaanua kitabu kile kinachosema ishine tajua kuelesha mambo hivyo na hiyo kitabu nimeimprove sana biashara yangu nauza duka la vyakula vinywaji na dili na duma za fedha kigeo pesa mpesa ya chinwani na rupu kabla hapo kwa hamu na nani ila paka sasa ina kuzungumza kwa upande wa za fedha tu na zaidi ni mshiriki tena mko mmoja katika la facebook watu wakimsharusha na nini sasa mwaka jana mwishoni kuna vitu vilikuwa vina nini sumbua nikasema ngoja niende nimuone pasu kenda nikaongea naye nilifarikisha kwa kweli niliongea naye binafsi kulikuwa kuna mahusiano yako vizuri pia kwa hiyo isaidia kurekebisha mpaka nikapata pete hii hapa sana ni kwajili ya hiyo amechangia kwa kweli mchango wake siku nikapita tena kwenye peji yake nikakuta ametangaza online hizo ndani hizo personal coach lakini ameshafunga yani mimi nilichoka kuingia kwenye account yake mfuta ameshafunga nikachukua namba yake nikasema nikampigia kupokea nikamtumia message ya kujitu baada ya nikampigia kupokea sasa yeye anapigia kupokea akasema vipi nikamweleza naona amenipigia akambia nimekupigia kwa kama hivyo nikamwambia kwamba mimi count me in whether we close au jacob sababu niliona kwamba huyu mtu anaweza kunitoa kwa sababu ambayo nina yetea sababu nilikuwa na kiwa ambayo nilikuwa nataka mtu akuniongoze na kwa kweli toka nimefahamu sijajuta kwa sababu nimeona maisha yangu yakichukua hatua moja hadi nyingine hatua moja hadi nyingine first december last year i met joy and that is when everything changed so the journey wasn't easy kama anaposema you will be on your back always telling me that and this ukiona is calling the like again join again again this then i have to do this then i have to do that lakini kitu ambacho nilijiwekea ni commitment so i have to do it if i really want to go to the next next step like i really really need to do it i really really need to commit so i started following up if he told me like cause mostly what i wanted is to improve my leadership skills i wanted to be a great business person at a level i wanted also to like um, be very good with my strategies Well, I worked on that. Kila kitu tulikuwa pananiambia, I worked on it, I was doing it, I was doing it. And within a very short period of time, I've seen the success. Something that maybe most of the motivational speakers or inspirational speakers that don't tell you is the hard work. In reality like you need to do a lot of work. A lot of work. It's not easy. Nothing comes for easy. In Instagram people like just publish. It's just they they flash things to show you that This is the life and all that. Lakini tu kweli behind the scenes we really need to put in the work. And that's what you are taught. Dentist. Niko hapa part time. Na hii yote inatokana na program ambayo tulikuwa tumeianzisha. Uh, kwanza kabla ya hapo tulikuwa na uhitaji mkubwa sana kwa sababu tulikuwa tuna mambo ambayo natakiwa nifanye. Lakini sasa unakuta muda unaenda mwaka hadi mwaka unaanza tena mwaka mwingine una plan kichwani. Kwa sababu kaubwa na nafanya moja mbili tatu. 
mwaka ukija mwingine umeisha na kuja tena mwaka mwingine hivyo hivyo sasa ninasema hapana lazima kuna kitu kimejipe serikali kila siku napanga alafu nashinda kufanya na maana anahitaji msaada sasa siku moja alikuwa anapiga kisasa si kama atakuwa sasa kaka kufundisha ile akasema ndio huyu mtu bora mtafute ile mwenye angalau aweze kuwa kocha ili aweze kusaidia katika kufanya mambo yake bwana nitamfa sana mwenye anajua namsumbua sana ila sio kwa nani kwanza ana naye leo ila mafanikio aliyopata ni kwa sababu nipo tayari kulipa gharama ana vitabu vingi sana kozi zote na uzuria na vina ulisoma huwa na vichi mwakani biashara itakuwa tayari na channel nyingi sana una bini fani hivi nasema 18 40 60 kila nikiamka lazima niishi kuna mbinu fani hivi inasema imani ya uishi nikisoma tutama na sinzia na mka naanza kazi today what i've achieved from meeting joel i've started my own company and not only one company in which I deal with small and medium enterprises. I do consultations for well, marketing firm as a mini mshauri wa That's one. Secondly, I have another company, Inaitwa Gracious Solutions, and um, almost they offer solutions for women. In that company kuna a brand which is already registered in Inaitwa Amaris Cosmetics, and we're selling at Uganda. the brand a healthy brand in it for Amaris Health kwa ambao labda hapo Instagram wameshaikuiona Amaris Health yeah ni yangu lakini kingine vile vile I used to do talks kwa sababu nilipokuja kwa Joy I was scared of standing in front of the public I used to be very shy nimesoma sheria and I wanted to practice in court lakini sijui ngoko ninaenda kusimamaje pale in court yeah so I told Joy how am I going to do this lakini the first day when I walked on to that door he was like you go you're a born nation like public speaker and i was like can i do it and he was like yeah you have to do it just give me like the plan how are you going to do it only kaamua kuwa atakopa na kunaongea na wanafunzi shuleni ni kanza na mlimani primary school i go speak to students mostly i motivate them on how like they can dream big and how like they can achieve at school after some months like um after doing it Like I just felt inside of me that I wanted more than that. I wanted to see results whereby someone comes from one stage to the other. Koni kaanza kuongea na rafiki zangu, ndugu zangu hivyo the challenges that, that they face and all that. Lakini like, something that I came to realize that like, I'm very passionate about transformation. I want to see someone coming from one stage to the other. That's what you all also that, right? Anatoka kumuona mtu kwa anatoka kwa mmoja anaenda nyingine. Lakini so many people so many of us sitting here they think like That maybe you have to go to school to learn about that. Lakini kuna vitu ambavyo viko ndani yako wewe, si ndio? Him is just the engine. He'll just push you to do it. Lakini if you don't want to do it, like in reality you won't be able to achieve it. Na watu wengi wakikaa kiangalia nasema like why should I have a coach? There is no importance of me having a coach. Lakini kaa angalia watu wengi wao kanikiwa. Mtu ana coach. So what? So how is? You get it. Na kitu kingine ambacho nilijifunza kwa Joel ni kuwa Be very careful who speaks in your life. Nilisikia hapa aliposema kuwa sio inspirational talks zote lazima uende. Sio motivational talks zote lazima uende. So many people you go there you listen and then what? You don't act on it and then what? At the end of the day unaishia pale pale. Unaishia tu kulai picha za watu kusema huyu amefungua kampuni, huyu yuko Dubai, huyu yuko What about you? That could be you. Lakini all that you do ni kuwa umeenda sehemu mtu ka inspire and then what it's time where by we act kitu kikubwa ambacho Joel amenifundisha ni action I'm a person of action kikubwa kile ambacho ni kipanga kimoja nilikuwa nataka ni plot so ilikuwa kipaumbele kimoja kikubwa lakini kununua plot bila kuwa na tuseme bila kuchukua mkopo wala bila kufanya tafuta la pili nataka ile ile income yangu ambayo napata ile nizee kununua plot 
lakini kingine ilikuwa ni ilikuwa na mpango uh, wa kusema na, naacha kazi sema kidogo inakuwa ngumu lakini ilikuwa kuna program ambayo nataka nifanye na ambayo bado tunaendelea naye majukumu ya ile program inabidi nipunguze eh, muda wa kazi kwa sababu kazi yetu sisi kidogo ni demand ni wako asubuhi ni mpaka jioni na overtime kuna kuepo na kitu kama hiyo kwa hiyo inakupa kidogo muda mgumu wa kuweza kufanya uh, kama nitakachokupia paso kufanya mambo yako mwenyewe binafsi kwa sababu kuna kitu ambacho nilikuwa na short nacho kufanya lakini kana na kosa mbaya kuna maana leo tukiaweka pamoja tutahitaji kuwa kuwa na program ambayo ni streamline ambayo itakusaidia kuweza kufanya haya mambo mengine kwa upande wa mipato lakini pia kwa upande wa business hapa ambao nataka kufanya ndipo nikakutana naye kwa hiyo tutapanga nakumbuka kipindi cha kwanza ilikuwa ni January tukapanga kwamba mpaka mwezi wa sita mwaka huu niweze kuwa nimeweza kufanya upload na kuanza kuendelea na problem yao kama alivyosema natakiwa nilikuwa kila mwezi tulikuwa tumeweka namna namna gani tuna save ile saving plan tulikuwa tunajikana kwamba kila mwisho wa mwezi kipato changu ni kiasi kadha kiasi kadha nikwenda ni save save kwa ajili ya kitu gani kimeorganization pale na itakuwa ni kiasi gani kwa mfano uwezi kwa una save ndio unataka kumwata kama plot unataka kumwa ya shikaki sio lazima uwe na ile idea kichwa unataka kama plot ya shikaki na pengine labda wapi lazima ufanye ile utafiti kwao baada ya kufanya hizo saving mwezi wa tatu mwisho ninakumbuka sikufika hata mwezi wa sita nikafanikiwa kumwa plot katika kaya naenda vizuri kwa hiyo nikona hela unaweza kama unaipata lakini uwezi kujua inaenda unajua kama hauna problem ambayo iko kichwani nazo kapita hapo kama mwai kwa mwai kuja kushuka kwa jela kidogo unaona inamalizia mwezi mwingine umeingia kwa hiyo unakuta unaenda sio kwamba life inakubana lakini unakuta kuna yale mambo yako ambayo unasema ni goals zako muhimu na kwao unakuta unashindwa kuzifanya nyingine pia ni stationary nafanya na pia nafanya money transfer lakini nilikuanza naye yani nilikuwa na madeni nyuma madeni ambayo ni namaliza mtaji. Kwa hiyo nikikopa labda milioni kumi nafanya biashara nakuta kwenye ile capital inapungua mwisho wa mwaka ukifika mwaka mwingine inakopa tena. Nakuta tena capital inapungua lakini kwanza kujiwana na Mr. Joel akanielekeza sasa jinsi ya nidhamu ya fedha na jinsi ya kutumia fedha. Kwa hiyo nikakuta vitu vyote ambavyo vile vina kipaumbele akaniambia andika. Ni nada za watoto lazima ni walipie watoto wawili nilikuwa nasomesha pango nilikuwa nalipa nilikuwa namlipa dada kwa hiyo vote akaniambia nikajikuta nimekopa hela nimelipa madeni still capital yangu mpaka sasa hivi ipo bado ile ile Mimi nafanya biashara ya kuuza vitu vya kutupa Facebook Si biashara ambayo nitarajia ningekuja kuifanya maisha yangu kwa sababu ni kitu ambacho sikwahi kufikiri lakini mimi naamini katika Mungu. Kwao ninamomba Mungu. Katika maombi yangu nilipata uwezo wa kufahamu nifanye kitu gani. Kitu ambacho sikuwa nacho akili. Nikachukua hatua nikaanza kufanya. Baada ya kuchukua hatua kwanza kufanya ndipo Mungu akanikutanisha na huyu kaka. Na mpaka leo kasha kaenda. Kwa hiyo nimeanza kuuza mtumba huu wakati nafanya kazi. Kama hata sijafahamu. Lakini nilikuwa nafanya ile casual. Eh, nauza casual. Kama tu kujiandaa, kujiandaa kutoka na kitu ila kuna siku baada ya kumfahamu akanifundisha kuweka malengo na na kuweka malengo yako sasa unataka kuacha kazi sio ni mweza za kuacha kazi lakini baada ya kuacha kazi ndio na plan njoo na diary njoo na peni njoo na malengo yako kwa sababu nikaenda kule alinifundisha kutumia diary for the first time nilikuwa sijui kutumia diary nikasema wow kumbe hii unaandika hivi akanifundisha kuweka malengo nikaanza kupatia yale malengo tulikuwa tumekaa na kaa niuliza hiyo umefikia wapi na mweza hapa sasa hivi nimefika hivi na hivi na hivi. Umefikia wapi? Hapa sasa nimefika hivi na hivi. Umefikia wapi? Na mwelekeza hivi na hivi. Sasa kuna siku nikakaa. Nilikuwa na uoga. Nataka kuacha kazi. Na muda umefika kuacha kazi. Lakini na uoga. How do I start right? My resignation letter. Siku moja nikakaa, nikaamua kufanya hesabu ya mauzo yangu ya mwezi ule ambao nilikuwa nilikuwa nimemaliza. Mara niambia unaweka malengo. Inabidi uwe kwa mwezi utengeneza begani ili tuweze kuweka malengo ya miezi inayofuata. Nipo anza sasa kufanyia hesabu. Nikapiga hesabu za mauzo ya mwezi mzima nikakuta wa kumbe ya mauzo yanazidi mara tatu ya mshahara wangu kwa mwezi. Kwa hiyo sijutii kuacha kazi. Sijutii kukutana na kaka Joel. 
Namshukuru Mungu kwa sababu maisha yangu na sasa ni uhuru. Ninaamua mambo yangu ninayotaka. Ingawa sio uhuru ule wa kuzembea kwa sababu nimefundisha kwamba ukiacha kazi tazizo kufua utaka kukaa nayo ilikuwa na muda mwingi. Ujue ufanyie nini. Lakini kutokana na kupanga malengo nimeweza kumanage muda wangu na naona mambo yanaenda vizuri na, na malengo mengine kwa ajili ya mwaka ujao na mimi pia kwa msaada wake tutakwenda sambu. Thank you.